Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys! 6.2 is here. 6.2 is finally here. The regime of hidden cash is dead. It's no longer here. We actually haven't met a single syndicate today. They are crying in the corner. But don't worry, it's not that they are dead. It's just first day. Don't worry. And we are here with new decks, but they are actually old decks that I have re revisited and in the three following days I'm gonna show you three cool decks that I built on day one and uh, I actually think all of them kind of works, they are kind of good. And today, first day, we are starting with my favorite. It was my favorite last season, I wanted to make it work and I thought it's pretty decent, but no one believed me. And now I want to give it a go for another time when the provision got higher by one and what changed so this deck didn't change much if you want to watch the full guide for the previous version you can go to the link in the description below uh, so the only thing i changed is i added bomb heaver instead of terror plunderer that's all because i expect a lot of nilfgaard in the following days when the meta settles a little bit uh, people will go back to double ball i think and that's why Bomb Heaver, I think, is a good addition. But if you don't encounter a lot of uh, Nilfgaard and you don't encounter a lot of Syndicate, which was actually the case for me today, uh, I haven't encountered a lot of hate uh, opponent, you can this, uh, you can replace Svalblot Totem in, into Olaf. I think it's a good uh, addition because, like, Svalbard is a totem is a safe play. It's like you always play uh, 10, 8 for 10, which is like underwhelming but like fine. And then it can transform into 12, and it also makes your opponent uh, turn awkward because they can't really interact with your board. So Svalbard totem is uh, nice if your opponent uh, is very reactive. But if your opponent is not playing any poison and any locks or etc, Olaf is just great for this deck because you have a lot of cards that deal, deal damage to uh, your units like Raging Bears, Fallblood Priest, uh, Terror Crew Plunderer, for example. So this is not bad. You can try to use it. So Olaf is good addition. Uh, if you also don't encounter any scenarios, uh, I actually encountered only one today, so maybe Bomb Heaver is a cut as well. You can change Bomb Heaver into another long ship, which is uh, always decent uh, ship to have, so it's also fine. Uh, you can also, if you need more removal, you can also uh, replace one more drone and add uh, Delirium to this deck, it might also work. And another change that you can do is... Uh, of course, you can cut Draco Turtle and Convenant of Steel, but don't do it because uh, Draco Turtle is the best card ever made, so I'll just love it. So you cannot replace it, I just prohibit you from doing it. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, and that's pretty much it. This deck is pretty much uh, it's pretty simple to play, but have some uh, nice fringe plays you can uh, do. Uh, of course, the main plan is to have a lot of points from Draco Turtle and from uh, Armored Dracar due to Priest in a round 1 and round 2. And you want to go for a short round 3, where you use uh, cards like uh, Ermion, that uh, gives you Crow Mother back and gives you a nice tempo. And of course, you want to use Blaze of Glory. Which is if Yuta is in the grave uh, in the deck, this is a 12 point leader. Plus then Sigvrida right gives you 12 point on the um, board, and Hialmar can give you the three points on the board and 12 point removal number two. So with Blaze of Glory in a dream, you can let's let's. Let's say it's a, like a dream combina combination loss, your last two cards are like... Your last card is like Hjalmar, then you use Blaze of Glory on Yuta and you place Hjalmar and one card, it's 27 points play. Well, that's pretty good for a one card and leader. So the combo on short round is pretty good. Other than that, you have uh, Tourist and Veteran to make your uh, opponent turn awkward and also this is an extra target for your uh, Hjalmar and that's the same with uh, Raging Bear 
and also you have ships there, stunning blow is a nice addition, nice removal, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty pretty much it. Remember that you can sometimes play Yuta during the round because Draco Turtle or Priest can grow to beyond 12 points and also it counts your opponent's uh, units as well. So against monsters, for example, Yuta is, can be played as 12 by itself, so it, she's pretty good. And that's pretty much it. More. If you want to see more about this deck, uh, you can go to the again to the uh, link below. It's from previous season, but it's still relevant because nothing uh, changed that much. Only like one provision, so the deck is pretty much the same. But I'm gonna show you a game from today, which is uh, May the 5th. So new patch. So you can see that in new patch it's still uh, working as well. But keep in mind that it's a uh, day one. So meta is not yet settled, people play random stuff, so that's why maybe Blaze of Glory is uh, working, but I still think it's a great deck. I hope you enjoyed it, please drop a subscribe and like if you did. If don't, I'm glad you watched until this stage of the video anyway, so thank you for being here. And I of course you see you next time. Shadowverse or something like this. And I absolutely cannot play it. Like I, I like I installed it, and I instantly like Alt F, Alt F4 because I couldn't look at it. So back in beta when the ultimate session, Fostering was to play it. it. Sounds like a good. I don't remember this meme. And you are talking about X Men, right? <laughs> exactly, that's too, too much weep. I cannot look at Shadowverse, like... I don't know, I just can't. Meta Shifter. Oh, that's a good idea. Nilfgaard, okay, so I expected Nilfgaard to be the meta. But it's the first Nilfgaard player. <laughs> I would lo I would love them to pay me to play the game. Then I can even play a farming simulator. <laughs> Skellige was fun in... Okay, was it? No. <laughs> it wasn't that fun. I couldn't play X-Men back then. I was too stupid for it. <laughs> but there was this girl. I forgot her name. She was a streamer and she was only playing X-Men. <laughs> Syndicate spreadsheet to p pilot. <laughs> it like re requires you to know 25 best cards that are in every deck. <laughs> what is this meme, by the way? Is he playing my Nilfgaard mage deck? No, not this one. Uh, I Like Ash is Ash or whatever, the second Ash. I call her the second Ash. So the second Ash used to play a lot of Skellige, but there was the... Am I... Racist if I say the Asian girl. She looked a little bit Asian. I don't mean anything bad about it. I just like she looked a little bit Asian And she used to play a lot of uh, uh, X-Men like only X-Men not Skellige, but X-Men What was her name? She was she were in she was in some podcasts as well Exactly, X-Men. <laughs> X-Men. X-Men Gwent. What was her name? Come on. Okay, it completely doesn't matter now. <laughs> oh my god, I am to playing against Geralt. Oh my god. Michał Żebrowski is here. Oh my god. How the hell I didn't notice it earlier? 
Oh my god! Oh my god! How the hell do you notice it? You are not even Polish! And Zebrowski is like a ultimate Polish name, like because it consists consists like Red, which is a very hard uh, thing to pronounce. Mold him. I don't think it's a it's a real Michał Zebrowski though. <laughs> okay, how do we do this? We are a little bit screwed. Why he stole my tourist and veteran? I don't like it. Oh my god. You actually did watch this Wiedźmin? <laughs> that was one of the worst <laughs> film ever created in Poland. <laughs> do, you, do you want a fun fact? Okay, fun fact incoming. So I don't know if you know, but I used to study in a film school. I used to study uh, directing. And one of our professor, like a director professor, was the guy who made this Witcher movie in Polish, in Poland. Oh, really? And you, do you know what they uh, did with uh, Netflix, like in... Uh, ooh, the lot was juicy. They also asked the guy who is uh, doing a dubbing for Geralt in Witcher 3, in Polish version, and they asked the, him if he wants to do a dubbing for a Netflix series, and he agreed. <laughs> this was funny. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't. Uh, oh, okay, now I don't actually remember if it was the guy that was playing the Witcher or the guy that was dubbing uh, the game Witcher, because th these are two different guys. Now I don't remember. So what do we do here? I can play another ship. That was funny. Yeah, I learned all of the sound effects from the <laughs> film school. <laughs> Oh, Zebrowski was. Why do you know this stuff better than me? I'm from Poland. I should know this. Not you. I think the, there is already Vesemir picked. Uh, Uh, Hamil wanted to play uh, as well. Yeah, we had this this guy. He's gonna be Vesemir. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know your trivia. <laughs> yep. Yep, now I can play also Terror Crew Plunderer. This is actually 7 points, it's not that bad. 7 for 4 is actually quite good. When you think about it. Can you pass Michał Żebrowski? What is he playing? He's playing like... A, I don't know what Albrich is doing here. And I didn't expect Swears. Usually, like Lockdown play is playing Swears. Can you purify me? That's just rude. Oh, you have family in Poland. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> to write in Polish. I can't even write in Polish. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to write in Polish. It's like in general, okay, in general, everything about Polish is hard. It's so, such a hard language. Oof. 
Sound Polish. <laughs> but really, if for Polish is fucked up. Uh, we could go to 37, but what then? If he passes, I'm screwed. I can go to 37, and then I need 8 points, and I don't have a single card that is 8 points. That's poop. I could almost got it. Because because of his Mara, Mayuta is... Uh, is active. Okay, I, I'm doing... Uh, I don't want to use leader now. Although, this is a good leader target, but... I want him in uh, round 3. And I'm going a Slavic mode. I'm back to Slavic mode. I have my track suit. I have, I can do a squat. And we we are Slavs now. Yeah, but it's it's also oh, that. But that's actually very cool. And I'm also open for doing like. The other round, like I don't mind if someone from Poland r writes me in Polish and I can answer in English. But if you can understand her, uh, her it, that's a lot. I never saw her uh, stream, by the way, but I heard about her. <laughs> Bomb Heaver. Is it actually good in this matchup? Is he gonna be ball me? Does it look like a ball? This looks a little bit like a ball, and this looks a little bit like a ball. So maybe I should keep this. Do I actually have to keep it? Go! Ball me! Ball, ball, ball! Ball, 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 ball! Ball, 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 ball! Show me your ball! Uh, okay, that this sounds weird. Yeah, exactly. His faction look like a ball. <laughs> it's a ball faction. And brace yourselves, you're gonna see a lot of double ball in next month. Fun fact about Nilfgaard is that every every leader can play ball. All words I don't understand. The Polish was actually half. Hmm. Oh yeah, Silesians are. <laughs> they are weird. <laughs> like their their language is a little bit. Uh, like the their accent is a little bit different. Maybe let's say it like this. But it also depends. Like some people from Silesia like speaks like normal Polish. Some like do weird accent and some can just speak Silesian which scenario is the most played for sure the uh, ball it has to be a ball and then probably Skellige and Syndicate at the same time Monsters is probably the least played Siege is played a little bit. And Skoyatal is also quite good. Yeah, that's true, exactly. Because it really the, depends on the region, region. And also if they are from the city or from the suburbs or from the like village. But in Silesia, the, you don't have many villages. <laughs> so do we rock Rostak middle? Oh yeah, Apollo region. Yeah. Yeah. This is basically like half German, half Polish region. I'm just joking, but it's sort of true. I think like, I'm not sure. I might be like inventing stuff, but I think... Uh, aww. Aww. I would love it. I would much prefer if he. Uh, what can I do here? Wait. Do I, do I can I can now just go Draco territory? 
because he just used Yennefer's invocation, so he can lock it, but I still like it because he still have like six armor, so my priest is like getting two points per turn. Yeah, the defender might be a should be a little bit more flashy. I agree. Nice, thank you. Was it just a minus point? Interesting. The doom tag is also pretty cool. I I really really like the the, the purify. I am, like the sound and animation is great. It's absolutely great. Oh potato guy. Okay. Are we playing this? No, not yet. He might have still ball. So what do we do here? I can just play Gremist. They can do this. Oh, this is great. Yeah, I, Purify it is amazing. I love it. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> okay, it wouldn't be nice, but <laughs> it would be funny. Oh, do you think I don't have more? Onward, onward to be showered with Imperial Gold. So do we want to kill it or do we want to purify it? This is actually a decent Blaze of Glory target. I can just kill it. And we can summon her now. Already? Sure. Okay, I won't use this one. <laughs> Yet. So, we need to spend meteor. Yes! I got you! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! I got you, boy! I got you, boy! There was a song like this as well. It was Cher, I think. Yeah? I got you, boy. Ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta. Show me your poison now. This is not a poison. Mashed potatoes with thick gravy. Mashed potatoes with thick gravy. Do we kill this or do we kill this? Probably this. Oh, I cannot kill it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Mashed potato. I want if he like poison. I don't know what. I want Hermion because if he has uh, like Damien, I want to decoction him. Decoction Damien. Because he needs to play it now if he wants to refresh it. And he left one charge, so it kind of tells me that he wants to go for him. Okay. It's not a Damien there. <laughs> then. I can purify this. That's funny enough. Oh, this sound is so good. Oh my god, it's so good. God's protect us. Can he kill it in one turn? It doesn't have a status, so he cannot. Right? Yeah, I can get 12 points the Mardrum. And it doesn't have status, so he cannot kill it with one blow. And let's hear this one more time. Oh, it's so good. The sound is so beautiful. Oh, he can kill me with uh, Ard. Okay, he cannot. But this sound is so fresh you know it's so refreshing okay we actually we are climbing with this deck 